I want to call your attention briefly to the book of Job. All right. Chapter 42. And I want to look at two verses. I want to look at verse number 10. And we're going to skip down to verse number 12. Mm -hmm. Job chapter 42, verse number 10, and verse number 12. Mm -hmm. Let me know when you all find it. Yeah. Amen. I'm going to read to you from the New King James Version. All right. And it reads like this. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Uh -huh. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Well, well, sir. Let me read that to you again. Right. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job, mm -hmm. meaning his situation, when he prayed for his what? Friends. Friends. Also, the Lord gave Job twice mm -hmm. as much as he had before. Mm -hmm. In verse number 12, I'm only going to read that A clause. It says, so the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. I want to talk to you by way of subject this morning, the turning point. The turning point. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use two versions of the Bible to help all of us understand the magnitude of these passages of scripture. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask the person that's in the sound booth to turn my mic down just a little bit because I'm having a feedback. Amen. 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 So I'm going to be reading from the New King James Version, but on the screen, you will be able to see these same passages of scriptures in the NIV version to fully understand the magnitude of these scriptures. I want to begin by saying, after two recent U.S. mass shootings, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right. the one in Buffalo, New York, well, uh, where a young man went inside a grocery store yeah. and killed three innocent people and wounded three. Some of these people were simply going to pick up some milk and eggs. Some were going to pick up items for their homeless ministries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There were some that was just going to do what they normally do, pick up some type of dessert for Sunday morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this person drove some three hours yeah. and killed these innocent people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then most recently in the news, we hear that there were an elementary school shooting. Nineteen young, innocent children lost their lives, including two teachers. And many people are hurting because they seem to not understand why these events have taken place. Mm -hmm. And many are asking this fundamental question, and I would say 
in my honest opinion, it is a, a valid question. Mm -hmm. It's a question that deserves a valid answer. All right. mm -hmm. And that question is, why does God allow mm -hmm. evil and suffering mm -hmm. in the world? Well, well, Are y'all going to pray well, with me? Well, 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 and I believe somebody at St. John has asked that same question. Why does God allow evil and suffering in the world? Scripture gives us an answer. Not only an answer that you can understand, but an answer that you can joyfully accept. Mm -hmm. well. It's not one of those inadequate short answers like, well, God is not responsible. Mm -hmm. Adam and Eve are. Well. Which poses another question. Well, if God allowed Adam and Eve the option of making sinful choices, then why did he create them? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If he knew they were going to make these kind of choices, then why did he not make them capable of making better choices? So that answer doesn't help. Well, somebody might say, well, God is not responsible, the devil is. Which again poses the question, why did God create angels? Knowing that they will fall. Mm -hmm. And one of them will become the devil and lead the whole human race into sin. Mm -hmm. well, well, well. If he knew the devil was going to make those kinds of choices well, well. and lead these type of issues, why did he make it? Mm -hmm. Since he's the creator, he created everything for nothing. Mm -hmm. He could have made him any way he wanted to make him. Mm -hmm. So that doesn't help either. Mm -hmm. So all the answers that are legitimate answers lead us back to God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't stop with asking that question at Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't stop asking that question at Satan. Mm -hmm. You can't even stop to ask that question at man. Mm -hmm. So you're going to wind up going back to heaven to get this answer. Mm -hmm. right. Because it's going to take us all the way back to the eternal God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder do I have a witness. Mm -hmm. all right. mm -hmm. But that's basically the foundational of theology. If you want to an answer to life's problem, well, go back to God. Hey, well, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, that's the reason why we have this book. Uh -huh. You know, 66 books. Well, yeah. well, 39 books in the Old Testament. Yeah. Well, uh -huh. 27 books in the New Testament. Yeah. Well, we have everything from Genesis to Revelation to answer any question well, 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 you need to know. Yes, sir. Well, I wonder do I have a witness. Yes, sir. Uh, and Proverbs 16.4 says it this way. In the NIV version it says, The Lord works out everything mm -hmm. to its proper end, even the wicked for a day of disaster. Well, mm -hmm. So what we have before us today, St. John, is a theological problem. Mm -hmm. It's a theological issue. So I want you to allow me to give you some bullet points and I won't get out your way. <laughs> First and foremost, everybody in this room believes that sin exists. Yes. Well, 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 Am sorry. I preaching to a real church? Yes, sir. <laughs> Sin exists. And I will submit to you that sin exists in three ways. I wonder, do I have a witness here? Firstly, there is what is known as a natural sin or a natural evil. This is a dangerous 
destructive evil. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's a deadly evil. Well, uh -huh. It's not a personal issue. It's not uh, an issue that is impersonal, but it is an issue that is external. External. It is an issue that does not come from man, but an issue that comes from the fallen condition of this world. All right, well, All right. As a result of sin. Well, what are you talking about, Dr. Reddick? I'm talking about diseases. Well, I'm talking about disasters. Uh -huh. I'm talking about calamities. Uh -huh. From hurricanes to hailstorms. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I'm talking about from Ebola to earthquakes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm talking from cold waves to COVID-19. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Talking from mudslides to monkeypox. All of these are natural evil. Uh -huh. yes. That's why Romans 8, 22 says, we know that the whole creation has been groaning yeah, yeah. as in the pains of childbirth yes, sir. Uh -huh. right up to this present time. Uh -huh. Natural evil. Uh -huh. And secondly, there is what is known as a moral evil. Uh -huh. This is a personal issue. This is internal. It is a wickedness. It is transgression. It is sin itself. Uh -huh. And I will say to you, when you look at the word sin, S-I-N, you look at the letter in the middle, it is I. Uh -huh. The last two letters, I-N, uh -huh. N, and you take the three, sin. Uh -huh. Let me say it again. You got I, uh -huh. N, sin. Uh -huh. You cannot wear a white collar all day long and don't get ring around the collar. I wonder do I have a witness here? And you know what really gets me is when we like to talk about other folks' sins. Well, where I come from, they say a puppy can't talk about a dog. And a pig can't talk about a hog. All of us have sin and come short. I wonder do I have a witness here? Jeremiah 17, 19 says that the heart is deceitful above all things yeah. and beyond cure. Who can understand it? In Romans, Paul says in chapter 3, verse 10, as it is written, there is no one righteous, not even one. Need you to help me by looking at your neighbor and tell your neighbor as it is written. There is no one righteous, not even you. Don't be afraid, tell them, not even you. I wonder if I have a witness. This world that we live in is under a curse, which makes evil everywhere present. It's inhabited by people who are evil to the core, morally. <laughs> That individual that went to New York was evil. Yeah. Yeah. There's no other way to put it. He was evil. Yeah. The man that went and killed those innocent kids who could not defend themselves yeah. was evil. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? I wonder do I have a witness. Yes, yeah. Yeah. And then thirdly, there is a supernatural evil. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. There is not only evil in the heart of man, but there's a force of demonic spirits. Yeah. Yeah. They are old as the creation itself. Uh -huh. They have been around since the creation. Yeah. They are evil spirits. Yeah. They are corrupt. Yeah. They are liars and deceivers. Uh -huh. You don't believe me? Go to Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 through 2. It says, and you he made a lie who were dead in trespasses and sin, yeah, yeah. in which you once walked according to the curse or course of this world, uh -huh. according to the prince of the power of the air. Well, yeah. Who is the prince of the power of the air? Uh -huh. Satan is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means that this is where he ruled. Right. Uh -huh. right. He could not offer Jesus as he was fasting 40 days and 40 
for the night, saying, I will give you this world if you fall down and worship me. Right. Couldn't offer that if he didn't own anything. Right. Do I have a witness? Uh -huh. The Bible says that he is the prince of the power of the air. Uh -huh. You cannot see him, uh -huh. but he is at work. All right, guys. Yeah. Think of it in terms of radio frequency. Uh -huh. You can't see the frequency, but if you turn on your FN dial, you can hear the music. Yeah. Yeah. And every now and then, there's a little static, static that gets in the music, yeah. in the radio station. Uh -huh. That's what Satan does. Satan is on the airwaves. Uh -huh. You can't see him, but he does exist. Uh -huh. I want to do I have a witness here. Uh -huh. yeah. This demonic spirit lives in the lives of our people. And we learn this from the story of Job. We also learn that God sometimes even allows that demonic spirit to have his way in our lives. We also learn that from the book of Job. Let us look at Job. You all are familiar with the story. I want to begin at Job chapter 1 verse 6 where it says one day the angels yes. came to present themselves before the Lord. Yeah. Satan also came with them. <laughs> Can I tell you today my brothers and sisters you know there's a lot of travel restrictions as a result of COVID-19. Yeah, yeah. uh, right. Is that right? Yeah. But can I tell you, Satan has no travel restrictions. My, my, my. Uh, Satan has no boundaries. Yeah. Satan goes everywhere. Yeah. Uh, I wonder, do I have a witness here? Yeah. 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 Satan will show up in prep me. Satan would even come to choir rehearsal. Uh, Satan would even meet with deacons and trustees. Yeah. Yeah. Satan will show up on your job. Yeah. <laughs> Satan will even show up at your doorstep. Y'all yeah. yeah. excuse me right along here, but Satan will even sleep with you. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what happened with this here. Yeah. And you wonder sometimes why people wake up with hell in them. Yeah. And you ain't did not nothing to them. Yeah. Satan will get in the bed with you. Yeah. I want to have a witness here. Verse 7, it says, the Lord said to Satan, where have you come from? <laughs> That's a good question. That's a good question. Yeah. And you know what his response was? He said, Lord, from roaming throughout the earth, going back and forth on it. <laughs> then the Lord said to Satan, have you considered my servant Job? Uh -huh. There's no one like him on earth. Uh -huh. He is blameless. Yeah. And he's upright. All right. All right. He's a man who fears God and shuns evil. Yeah. And verse number nine says, does Job fear God for nothing? Uh, Satan replied. Uh, Come on now. Uh, Have you not put a hedge all around him? Uh -huh. Even his household uh -huh. and everything that he had. Uh -huh. You have blessed the work of his hand. Uh -huh. So this flocks and herds are spread throughout the land. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But now, but now huh? stretch out your hand. All right. Strike everything that he has. Right. And he will surely cuss you to your face. Right. Can I tell you today, Satan is known as the father of life. Yes, sir. Right. Satan don't care who he tell a lie to. Right. <laughs> Satan's job is try to discredit you. Somebody asked me the other day, said, Reverend, you don't get upset when people tell you lies? <laughs> and my answer to them was simply no, because man nature is the lie. So it don't surprise me when man lies. All right. All right. What surprises me is when he tells the truth. All right. All right. I want to go have a good right. 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 And I want to say to some young folk that's in the room today. Mm -hmm. Whether you're in the room or you're listening uh, virtually, I want to say to you, you got to be careful with the lies of Satan. Yeah. Uh, 
If you're in school, Satan would tell you you don't need an education. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right. Satan would tell you you are lame if you go to school. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But you want to do what everybody else is doing, sell drugs. Uh -huh. It's a quick way to make money. Uh -huh. Can I tell you, Satan is telling you a lot. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He's not going to tell you the other side of the coin. Right. Uh -huh. That the prison system is full of people who we told that same lie to. Uh -huh. Serving 20 and 30 years. Uh -huh. I wonder do I have witness here. Uh -huh. So you cannot believe the lies of Satan. Uh -huh. Satan is telling some woman that, you know, no man is going to marry you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So you might as well shack up with it because that's the norm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but can I tell you, Satan is also telling you a lie. Uh, the Bible says a man who finds a wife. Uh, I wish I had it just yeah, 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 yeah. Finds a good thing and yeah. takes a favor from the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. I want to do I have a witness here. Yes, Somebody probably heard Satan say, well, you don't need a fight. Mm. They're going to do what they want to do anyway. Mm. Can I tell you, Satan? is also telling another lie. Yeah. The Bible says, fret not thyself because of evil doers, for they'll soon be cut down like the green grass and wither as the green herb. I wonder do I have a witness here. So Satan is known for telling lies. And when we get down to verse number 12, the Lord said to Satan very well, everything he had, is in your power. Uh -huh. But on the man himself, do not lay your finger. Uh -huh. You know, that gives me confirmation. Uh -huh. That constellation. Uh -huh. That Satan cannot do anything to you unless God allows. Uh -huh. I don't care who put roots on you. Uh -huh. I don't care who put voodoo on you. Uh -huh. God will take roots and voodoo and put it back on me. Uh -huh. I wonder if I have a witness here. Uh -huh. That's why the songwriter said when you dig one ditch, uh -huh. you better dig two. Because uh -huh. one of them ditches might be for you. Uh -huh. I wonder do I have a witness here. Uh -huh. And the Bible says Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. And one day when Satan, when Job's sons and daughter were feasting, they were drinking Chardonnay, mm -hmm. <laughs> white Zippendale, And then a messenger came to Job and said, the oxen were plowing. All right. The duckies were grazing their yeah. mm -hmm. And the Sabines attacked and made off with them. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They put thy servants to the sword. Uh -huh. And I'm the only one who has escaped to tell you. Uh -huh. yeah. And while he was yet talking, uh -huh. another messenger came and said, I know what he's telling you is important, but I got to tell you something that's even more important. The fire of God fell down from the heavens. Burned up your sheep and your servants. And I'm the only one who had escaped to tell you before you can finish telling them that. Someone else came out of breath saying, I got to tell you something, Joel. Verse 17 said, while he was still speaking, another messenger came and said, the child beings formed three mating parts. Swept down on your camels and made off with them. Mm -hmm. They put the servants to the sword and all, and I'm the only one who has escaped wow. the tiller. Right. And that didn't stop there, but somebody else came. Oh, yeah. Lord, yeah. Lord. Sometime when it rains, it pours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, Says while he was still speaking, yet another messenger came and said, Your sons and your daughters oh, right. were feasting and drinking wine. Oh, yeah. At the oldest brother's house. Yeah. When suddenly a tornado wow. swept in from the east desert, yeah. struck the four corners of the house, yeah. it collapsed on them. Uh -huh. And I'm sorry to tell you, Joe, they're all a day. Wow. And I'm the only one to escape to tell you. Wow. You know what Joe did? Mm. <laughs> the Bible says he got up. Yeah. Uh -huh tore his robe and shaved his head. Uh, yeah, yeah. Fell on the ground and 
worship and said, naked? I came from my mother's womb. And naked I will depart. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. Let me tell you something. We came here with nothing. Let me break that down. We didn't have milk. Similac.
never seen a man go to a funeral uh -huh. and say, Lord, let me be in the casket in place of John. Uh -huh. I want to go have a witness here. Everybody wants to live. Uh -huh. And can I tell you, man can do a lot of things through science and technology. Yeah, yeah. In fact, man has done a lot All right. for the human advancement. Yeah. Uh -huh. Man has made cars mm -hmm. that can drive themselves. All right. Pray with me if you please. Go ahead, now. Man has made rockets to go into space. Yeah. Man has made artificial limbs. Yeah. Speech generating devices. Yeah. Yeah. Man has made hearing aids. Yeah. Uh -huh. Man can do a lot of things. Uh -huh. Man can substitute saccharin for sugar. Mm. Right. Synthetic for rough. Yes, sir. Oil right. for butter. Whoa. But man cannot raise another man from a dead level to a living perpendicular. Right. I wonder if I have a witness yes, here. Sir. Yes, sir. So the Bible says, Satan went out in the presence of the Lord. Yeah. Afflicted Job with painful sores from the sole of his feet. Yeah. Yeah to the crown of his head. Yeah. Then Joel took a piece of broken pottery and uh -huh. scraped himself yes, uh -huh. with it as he sat among the ashes. All right. All right. I need y'all to look at Job this morning. Go ahead, man. Yes, Can you see the clusters of balls beneath his head? Yes, right. mm -hmm. Can you see it? Yes, All right. Every now and then he would inadvertently punch in one of those balls uh -huh. with the sharp edge of that broken pottery to scratch himself. Yeah. 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 He was itching. Mm -hmm. And those balls were growing on top of his ulcers. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. They were tender. Mm -hmm. They were painful. All right. And every now and then when Job took the pottery mm -hmm. to scratch himself, he would puncture one of those balls. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. All right. Causing thick yellow pus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mixed with blood yeah. to run down his body. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. The stench from the balls was so yeah. terrible oh, yeah. Yeah. to where the neighbors had to cover their faces or go a different direction. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm yeah. here to tell you today, St. John, Joe was in a bad situation. Yeah. 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 And even the female blowfly uh -huh. right. found the stench to be sweet. Uh -huh. And they would cover his body and yeah. blowing him until they laid their eggs that turned into maggots. Uh -huh. right. I need y'all to see Job this morning. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Job, I tell you, was in a bad situation. Yeah. 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 But I think the breaking point came when Miss Job. Come on. <laughs> Miss Job. Miss Job. <laughs> had enough. Uh -huh. The Bible says in verse number nine. His wife said to him, are you still maintaining your integrity? Uh -huh. Curse God uh -huh. and die. Uh -huh. The same one yeah. who he gave all those children. All right. yeah. The same one yeah. who benefited from his success. All right. The same one yeah. who lived in the mansion with him. Uh -huh. The same one yeah. All right, now. who vowed for him and God, yeah. for better, for worse, yeah. for richer or poor, oh, in sickness and in health, yeah. Come on, man. she got tired yeah. and yeah. told him to curse God and die. Yeah. But I like the way he replied. He says, you talk like a foolish one. Yeah. 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 And in some translation says, you talk like one of those Foolish woman. Oh, yeah. So that means she wasn't the only one that talked the crazy. Oh, yeah. I wonder why I have a witness here. Oh, yeah. Well, Joe probably told her, I don't know why this is happening to me. Uh -huh. I don't understand why I'm going through all of this. Uh -huh. But I'm not going to curse Jehovah John. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm going to bless his name. Uh -huh. Though he slayed me. Yeah. 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 Yes, Lord, I trust yeah. him. I wonder do I have a witness here. And then finally, 
Job three friends yeah. <laughs> came from the east uh -huh. to see him. All right, now. Bill that. Yeah. Uh, Zophar and Eliphaz. Yeah. And the Bible says that they could not even recognize his face. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, sin will make you look totally different. <laughs> And uh, the Bible says 
that he blessed you uh -huh. twice as much yeah. the second yes, time sir. around. Yes, sir. I wonder, do I have a witness here? Yes, and I don't care what your situation looks like, yeah. he's going to turn it around. Yeah. Ain't God all right? Yes, he turned it around for Daniel in the lion's den. Yeah. Witness here. He turned around for the woman with the issue of blood. Ain't God alright? And it didn't stop right there. But he turned around when he went on a hill called Calvary. They nailed his hands, they nailed his feet. But they made one mistake when they lifted him up. Because I heard. He died. Did he die? He died. Did he die? He died so hard to the sun refused to shine. He died to the moon hemorrhaged in blood. He died to the sun. Yes, you win. Not only refused to shine. But the stars fell from the silver sockets. He died to dead men, got up from the grave, walked the streets of Jerusalem. But that's not how the story is.
many young graves than there are old graves. People are dying in their 20s. Yeah. Mothers in their 70s having to bury their daughters. Yeah. 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 Bury their sons. And this world is not getting any better because it seems like hell is breaking out everywhere. And many are asking, where is God? Can I tell you, God is still here? Can I tell you, it's not God that left us, but it's us that left God. And if you're here today in the sound of my weak voice and you don't know this God, I want to give you a special invitation to give God your heart and give me your hand. Because God wants to do something in your life. God wants to save you. God wants you to be part of this kingdom. 